Hi guys, and welcome back to Mr. Stein's channel, Can't Have Heart Without Art. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend. This next video is requested by some kids around the corner from me. So, hope you guys enjoy. They asked me to make Daniel Jones on the New York Giants. So, I did the best I could. That is not exactly the easiest thing to do. However, I do the best I can, just like you guys do in class. So, this is a hard one. So, don't be surprised if you have trouble. Take your time, pause as many times as you need to. Just do one line at a time. Okay, it's mostly a lot of lines, especially a lot of rectangles in particular. So just take your time, follow one shape at a time, do the best you can, and try to draw big. The bigger you draw, the easier you're gonna find this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the different parts just so I can see spacing. I'm going to start here and kind of make a shoulder on each side. And I'm going to connect them. Actually, I'm not going to connect them yet. <laughs> I'm then going to go up, up, down all the way, down all the way. So I kind of have the shoulder area and the chest area. There's going to be no legs. It's just gonna be from the chest up to make it a bit easier. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna make a semicircle. I'm gonna bring it down a bit farther like that. So it's lower here, higher here. As you can see, that's the back of the helmet. That's the front, it's gonna be different. So don't try to make them symmetrical. I'm going to bring it in towards right above my shoulder line and then connect them. That way the helmet is now connected to the neck and shoulders. This is the neck area. This is the head. This is the chest. This is more the right below the chest, the abdomen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in like that. Just a little line in. Then make the letter V to connect the two sides. Make the letter V again. What that did is that made, first of all, connected the two shoulders. That way you can see the neck. And it made the V of his jersey. So I'm going to show the neck a bit more by making kind of like the shirt underneath his jersey. He's got a jersey. He's got a blue undershirt. He's got a neck. If I want to do the easy part, I can add hints of his sleeves, kind of right here and here. We'll leave the NY logo for later, that's a little bit harder. Let's do the hardest part first. Now, now this is hard, the face mask is not easy. If you don't get it just right, don't panic yourself. You're gonna start all the way in the front and you're gonna bring a line to around the middle of the helmet. and then you're gonna do it again. So pretty much everything's gonna be a double line. Now you're gonna make kind of an S curve, only it's almost a little bit more than an S. See? And then you're gonna do it again. Now, before you finish up with that part of the helmet, you're gonna continue this line and curve it down. This is gonna give you the bottom of his helmet and where his chin is a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this line and I'm gonna follow it down at an angle, kind of like that. I give him that little chin area. And then I'm gonna connect this line to that, Let's see? Now comes the harder part. You have a lot of little connecting lines and shapes that overlap and intertwine. So again, take your time. See how this line I did not finish, that S? I'm gonna bring it straight down this way and then back up. So down and then back up.
See, I actually missed it a little bit. I needed that line and that line. So even I make mistakes, even after I've drawn it once before. Now I'm going to take them and connect back this way. Some of us could take the line and go right back and double it. See? So you go straight, curve it down like a snake, down, up, back in. It actually looks a bit like the letter G if your hand was shaking a little bit right around there. Now you still have these other lines to connect here and there. So I'm going to bring this part down a little bit. I'm going to go across. I'm going to hop over a little spot here because I still want to leave space for this connecting line. This is kind of the edge of his helmet where his face is going to be right here. See? Just a hint right here. It's kind of like a backwards number seven, right? Now I can connect a rectangle here and here. Another rectangle here and here. Another rectangle here and here. It's a lot of rectangles. This is a rectangle with an angle. That means I bend it. Here's another rectangle. Again, a lot of rectangles on this project. Add that line. That's kind of the rest of his chin right here. Connect a little spot right here, kind of where the helmet curves a bit up here. Circle, circle. Again, I told you this was hard. This is really for the older students. So if you're in the younger grades and trying this, you're probably gonna have trouble don't feel bad about that. Even I'm not making this easy. And I'm the art teacher. I'm going to show where the forehead is. So I'm going to go down, curve it to where his nose would be. Make a little V where the mouth would open. And then add that bottom lip kind of where the chin would be down here. So it's a profile view of a face. This is a profile view. A regular portrait view would be straight looking at you, when they're looking sideways, it's a profile. It's a little bit more hard to draw because it's not a symmetrical face. So again, another reason why this is really a harder project. A little eye, which I use a half a circle for. Let's see, Because it's a profile, you're only gonna see one eye because his head is turned sideways. You, want, you can add some hair back here, like it's coming out from underneath his helmet. Add that little white section here. And kind of have a little strap. Looks kind of like a lightning bolt here, which is a zigzag. Another rectangle curving down here. And another rectangle behind it. Again, a lot of rectangles on this project. Now, two, the last couple of things to do is the NY on the helmet and on the jersey and a box letter eight. Let's do the eight first. Leave space for the NY right here. Go down a little bit. And it's pretty much gonna be two octagons sandwiched together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But instead of connecting with number eight, you're gonna leave it open and do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, that would be the eighth part. That would be the octagon. So instead of doing that, just make a square inside each octagon. And you have a fancy box letter eight. Now the NY, if you do it the way they do it, it's a lot of kind of squiggles and lines, but you can make it easier if you like. I'm gonna to attempt to imitate what they do, which is really kind of a bunch of interconnecting lines. 
See? And Y again, very squiggly. That one turned out a bit better. And up here again. And N. And then this Y zigzags all the way down. And while that was not easy at all, you do have Daniel Jones from the New York Giants. You can color him blue, give him a regular skin color. You can make it a little bit different if you like. If you want to make it different, you can even change the number, make it a different person, make it you. Give it long hair for ponytail ladies. Up to you. You can change and modify any way you like. That's what's great about art. Again, this was hard. Pause as many times as you need to. Take your time on it. The hardest part by far is this area right here. It's a lot of intersecting lines and a lot of angles. So take your time on that in particular. That is the hardest part of the project. This part is actually not that bad. This is really the hardest area by far. Take your time, enjoy, send me your football players. And again, have some fun with this. I'll see you guys sometime probably after the summer at this point. But again, you know how to reach me. Email me, dojo me, send me smoke signals, throw me a football as far as you can and hope that I catch it. Looking forward to talking to you guys. Take it easy. And I'll make more videos later on. See you later. This is Mr. Stein, the teacher of all things, but especially art. Don't ask me to teach dance. I am awful at it. Take it easy, guys.